Hi, I am Nikki Clements, and I used to make stuff like this. So last week I went to my first puzzle room and uh, it, it was pirate themed so we all dressed up. Um, I guess people usually don't but uh, the staff there got a really big kick out of it so everyone had a lot of fun. So we got there a little early and they were still getting our room ready but while we were waiting they had some little puzzles on a table. They had like the little bent metal puzzles where you have to try and separate the pieces but they also had this cool wooden puzzle cube. I sat down with that for quite a good long time before I was able to finally get all the pieces to make a perfect cube. But uh, it was a really cool little puzzle and it looked super simple to make. So naturally, I wanted to make my own. Now this puzzle is actually very similar to the kind of puzzles that Make Anything was working on last year. But instead of designing them on the computer and using 3D printing, we'll just make it by hand. Um, pretty much just like that one was made. It literally just looked like it was built from blocks that were glued together. So it should be really easy and uh, pretty fun. So you could easily cut a bunch of cubes on the table saw out of any wood you have lying around. I just went ahead and went to Michael's and bought a bag of pre-made cubes. Unfortunately, the packs only come with 24 cubes. And to make a larger cube from smaller cubes, you need 27 cubes. So I had to buy a second pack. That means I'm going to have a lot of extra little cubes. If you were to buy nine bags, that would equal 216 cubes. I'd buy 27, which would allow you to make eight sets with no little remainders. Math. I'm just going to make one at the moment. These are actually very nice little cubes. If not super uniform, but they should work well enough. There is our cube puzzle. That's it, all done, super easy. 27 piece cube puzzle. Almost as easy as a one piece cube puzzle. In keeping with speed and ease, I'm just going to glue it together with some super glue and some accelerator. I think I wanna try and get five pieces and that should be easy to kind of control how many pieces you're making because you can always just glue on another piece to a piece you've already done. I guess let's just start gluing some blocks together. I'm just gonna put them both flat on the table to try and keep them level. Maybe a midsection there. So I'm not sure what would make it challenging or easier. And then maybe one more piece like that. That's a cool looking piece. All right, so I'm gonna say that piece is done. And that goes like that. <laughs> oh my God, I already, I already messed I either messed it up or I already don't know how to solve it. Oh, wait, does that work? I guess I could watch the playback. <laughs> not really, that's not really that, something's very wrong. Okay, all of the end grain has to go. And then maybe we make like an, yeah, like a 3D L. Okay, I got it, I watched the playback. So that's, that's where I, I was at. So that's a good sign. It should be it should be a decent uh, challenge. I was already completely confused as to how it was uh, supposed to go back together. All right, so let's just move on. Continue. Well, that worked out. We have ourselves a, uh, a cube puzzle. I like that I can hold it from the bottom and it'll all uh, stay together. That's kind of cool. So yeah, now I just want to add some color. Keeping with the theme of simple, um, instead of trying to paint this or anything, I'm just going to go ahead and sharpie it. One, two, three, four, five. 
five. Yeah. Red, orange, green, blue, purple. I got the orange really dirty. Actually, orange and red look almost the same. All right, well, I am pretty pleased with how these came out. I really like the uh, color scheme I ended up with. I'm glad my orange kind of got messed up and I went with black and then decided to look around for a yellow Sharpie. I don't know why they didn't include a yellow Sharpie in this size. I don't even know if they make one. I'm, I'm sure they do. They make all kinds of colors, but it was a little more tedious just using the, uh, the fine point. Got it done. That was fine. And yeah, this looks really good. So the only thing left to do is to try and put it together. So timer up on the clock. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh wow, I got it. Well, I got that a lot faster than I thought I would. So I guess it's not too hard. I guess it's not too hard. I guess it's not too hard. I, I am, I got it twice in like 30 seconds and now I am completely stumped. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why that one took so long. That is fun. That is fun. I don't know what I was missing. So if you're really forgetful, <laughs> You can get some uh, re replayability out of this. This is a great little project. I think it might be worth trying to make your own cubes. As nice as these pre-made cubes are, they're not quite cubes. I would have expected better quality. But uh, even still, it's a really fast, easy way to make one. You can definitely tell when it's been solved. Super quick, super easy now. I know the secret. So, my uh, sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nick D. Clemens. Oh wait, there's more. I made another one with dice. This one is really cool. I made it in pretty much the same way, but uh, I'll give you a quick overview of how I put this one together. So the left side's been glued with the solvent and the right side's just been glued with some uh, Rapid Fuse super glue. Oh. Well, it looks like they're both pretty equal. Oh. Oh, but you can really see that definitely did weld those two together. This is just a 10 pack of dice that I got at the dollar store. So it'll only take three of these packs to have enough for uh, 27 dice. And they'll only have three left over. Already considerably cheaper than the two packs of wood blocks. It'll be a bit smaller, but the dice are definitely uh, more square. All right, there's our cube. It's a pretty decent size. 
Now I haven't quite decided if I want to just have all of the dice randomized, like, like this, or if I want to try and like organize each piece. I wouldn't want the whole cube to be all in the same direction because then that'd be a pretty big clue as to how to organize and rotate the pieces. I think, I think just completely random is a better way to go, whichever direction they're in. And already I can glue these up a lot more square than the uh, blocks. This styrene solvent works works really nice with these these cheap plastic die. I get a nice little bit of working time to slide it into place. So I can rotate these back and forth so that I can get these pieces really level. So this should be a nice, really solid cube. There, sh there shouldn't be too much play or wobble. That's a cool cube. That fits together really nicely. I, it's a, I like the weight. I think I already know the trick though. So. Yeah, that's the trick for this one. There we go. So that one's quite easier. The pieces that I, I've made in this one make this one a much easier puzzle. Or at least it feels like it. Because I definitely have the trick. I definitely already have this one memorized. Two hours later. This is hard. Oh, this one is hard. Now, now that I forgot the starting point, I am lost. This is crazy. I think this one is incredibly hard. I, I really wasn't anywhere close. I had to watch the video back to uh, to solve it. Um, once you forget like the first two couple pieces, then you're completely lost. And if you don't luck out by getting those pieces in the right orientation, you can just be sitting here for a long time trying to solve this. So I'm still I'm still at a complete loss as to what type of pieces might make it easier or not easier? I don't know if, if there is. I feel like there would have to be. Once I forgot, this is an incredibly challenging puzzle. But I think I think this piece was really throwing me for a loop. This puzzle is really cool. Oh god, not again. <laughs> now, the big question. Leave it black and white? Or should this get the Sharpie treatment as well? I am kind of partial. I think it looks pretty cool as just black and white dye. What do you think? Colored, black and white. Let me know what you think. Or maybe I'll even throw up a poll. These are so cool. I really like this dice one. Three bucks, a little bit of uh, glue. You definitely do not need the styrene solvent, although I would highly suggest you get it. This is really awesome stuff, but the super glue glued these dice together just fine. So yeah, go pick up a bunch of dice at the dollar store. Three bucks, you can make yourself a really cool puzzle cube. Or go get some wood blocks from Michael's, or better yet, make your own wood blocks that are actually square. These are just too fun. I really like the feel of this one. I like the sound. And then you could, you could make one that's that's just an actual dice, you know, where it's all in the same orientation. It would make solving it a lot easier, but it would definitely look cool. So there's 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 so much to do with this, this puzzle cube stuff. Anyway, I have uh, kept this going long enough. Back to your previously scheduled outro. I am Nick D. Clements. If you're wondering, Nick is short for Nicholas, and the D stands for dice. Anyway, I'm off to make something else.
and I used to make stuff like this. Hi, I am Nick D. Clements, and I used to make stuff like this.